Hey guys, what's up? Jake Pitts here. Today I'm going to show you Faithless. There's a lot of parts to this song, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the song is in drop C, so I actually remembered to say that this time. So let's go ahead and uh, check out that first riff. So the song starts out with the big, you know, open chords. Um, so that first riff goes like this. Alright, so that's basically the uh, the main intro part. Uh, there's one little change going right into the verse. It's just gonna do the uh, palm muted part. <laughs> kind of thing. Here's that a little bit slower. Um, on the second verse, there's a harmony to that. The first verse, no harmony. Second verse, second half, there's a harmony to it. Is that slower? <laughs> Chorus rhythm goes like this. repeats. The lead over the chorus goes like this. After the first chorus, it goes back to the uh, intro rip. It's 
It's just a squealy there. All right, so the breakdown, coming out of the second chorus, we just hit the open notes with the, the drum march pattern thing there. Pretty self-explanatory. There's a little dive bomb in there right before the breakdown. Um, let's pop this whammy bar in. Um, that is basically on the high E string on your seventh fret. And then into that breakdown, which goes like this. Um, here's that a little bit slower. Okay, so the rhythm during the solo goes like this. So on to the solo. Now the solo is going to start, it's a, the, the first part, well there's a lot of tapping in it. So the first part is a tapping sequence on the B string. You start, I use my middle finger here. I'm not trying to flip anybody off, but you're gonna be tapping on 18, on the 18th fret. Um, and then this hand here is gonna be, your pinky is gonna be on the 17th fret. I'm sorry, the 15th fret. So we're going 18 to 15 to uh, 13. And I, I spread my fingers like that. So I'm using my pinky, ring finger, and then pointer finger. So 18 to uh, 15 to uh, 13 to 10. So that's that's not exactly what I'm doing, but that's where the finger position is. So it's very, very fast tapping part there. And honestly, I don't even know how to really break this down slow for you because it's so fast. Um, I'm kind of doing a double tap with this, I believe, at some points, but it's kind of like uh, So it's kind of, I guess what I'm doing there is, it's in between, so. I think I'm doing, um, and then I do two taps with the middle finger. And it's just, it goes really fast. Okay, so then the next part is going into, it's a diminished string skip tapping sequence. I don't know if that's really what this is called, but that's what I came up with. Doing that diminished um, shape, and it just kind of goes up. So um, start tapping on the high E string on 13th fret, down to 10, down to seven. Then we're gonna skip the B string, go to your G string, and do the same thing. And then we're just gonna move up. And it, it does each one twice, so. If I can play it smooth. bend on the 20th fret there. Okay, so the lick after the tapping part goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
So starting with your ring finger on, let's see, the 20th fret, that's going to be your first note. You're going to go with your pinky up to 22nd fret. And I just kind of do a hammer on and pull off there. So I, I, I pick that first note. And I use my pinky to go to the 21st fret. Is that where I'm at? Yeah, 21st fret on the B string. So. So we're starting on 20th fret, 22nd fret, and coming back down to the 17th fret. So, so that's the uh, sequence. Here's that close and slow down. All right, so the next part before the sweep. Alright, so the sweep at the end, um, start on the 12th fret, and then you're going to use your finky, finky, you're going to use your pinky, <laughs> uh, and I just tapped that one. So it's 12, 15, then you're going to be going up to um, your D string on the 14th fret. Now here you've got a roll, you've got a, you're doing two, two notes on the same fret, but you don't want to, you've got you've to roll that finger because you don't want to play them both together. So. back up to there to a typical shape like that. All right, so the lead in the double chorus goes like this. Here's that slower. Okay, so the very end uh, is the breakdown riff, and then there's the outro riff solo. Alright guys, so that's Faithless. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you're curious about this guitar and you want to own this guitar, check out the links below. It'll take you to where you can buy this guitar. So check out my other videos. I've got more lessons. I've got more coming. So uh, be sure to keep checking back for more updates. Alright, see you guys later. Alright, so the little lick after the tapping goes like this. Not like that. I'm fucking awful.